Thanks for choosing 23 ABC News at 5. I'm Jackie Parks. And I'm Todd Carley. The U.S. Supreme Court says no more seizing cell phones without a warrant. That decision could impact the way officers investigate certain cases. 23 ABC's Chris Ornelas is live tonight with both sides' reaction and why neither is particularly worried. Chris? Well, Todd, this is the spot where David Silva died in May of last year after a confrontation with Kern County deputies. And just across the street is the area where witnesses stood and shot cell phone video of the incident. Today's ruling did not address the cell phones of witnesses, but it will likely change the way police deal with cell phones of the people they arrest. To officers who feel like they have an entitlement to just search anything whenever they arrest someone, it, it, it might be a bad day for them. but. Uh, you know, for the Fourth Amendment and the Constitution, it's a good day. Criminal defense attorneys are celebrating the Supreme Court's decision to require search warrants before police can look in the phone of a person they've arrested. They can seize the phone, but to actually go inside the phone and begin reviewing the data, text messages, photographs that are saved, uh, they would need a warrant for that. The district attorney's office says the decision probably won't have a huge impact on the cases they prosecute. This ultimate decision, I wasn't that surprised. Uh, the smartphones now have so much more information on them um, than ever before, uh, so much more private information. Sheriff Donnie Youngblood says the ruling adds an extra step for officers to follow, but he says in most cases, his deputies were already getting warrants for cell phones anyway. Sometimes your gut tells you somebody's got something and you don't have probable cause. I mean, it happens to police officers all the time. I know what's in there. There's no question in my mind, but I don't have probable cause. That's the way our country is designed, and that's, you know, that's just the way it works. Uh, Sheriff Youngblood pointed out that with today's technology, they can request a search warrant right from their cars. So the need for a search warrant shouldn't really make their cases take that much longer. Back to you. Yeah.